lovely people, welcome back. As we get into the ending of this week, I wanted to bring you guys and sit some really great opportunities right in your lap. We are going to be going over several different opportunities and I'm actually running some opportunities back just to make sure you guys aren't missing anything. And just to remind you to check out some of the previous jobs that we did go over. So we are gonna start with a great opportunity with United. I will be going over different tier level roles as well, which means some of the roles will require more education or experience. But we also are going to be going over some entry level roles that will be great fit for anyone who is just starting out. You're looking for something remote, you're entry level, and you want to get in a great field with great pay. I got y'all, okay? We are going to end this week really, really well. So make sure when you are done watching this video that you guys go and apply. Apply your yourself, you guys. So before we get into this opportunity that I do have with United themselves, I wanted to definitely bring you guys up to speed on our good, good friend, Bride, who actually got hired at Cigna. This was a video that I did post a couple weeks ago and he applied and he got in it. So Bride does say, I just got hired. I signed my offer letter, now waiting to do my onboarding. So y'all, I'm telling you guys, when I post these videos, please make sure you're going and you are applying yourself so that you can definitely get in to these great opportunities, okay? Now, let's get right into the roles that I do have for you today. I do want to send out a reminder based on even just Bride's experience. If you're looking for something within the health insurance industry, definitely check out Cigna, okay? Come look at all of their opportunities that they do have. As you see, they are very also entry level friendly, you guys, okay? So I wanted to run this back to make sure you know to also check out jobs that I have posted in different companies that have opportunities that I've posted previously. Even as we go down, like this would be a great opportunity for anyone who's looking for something more entry level. You don't mind the phones. You know, even the requirements here, they have a high school diploma. Diploma, GD. Previous healthcare experience is preferred, but it's not a requirement. The Microsoft Office. So definitely, if you're interested, do not forget about prior jobs that I have posted. I just want to remind you guys to make sure you're coming over and you are definitely applying to jobs that I've already posted as well, as those are opportunities that I also want you guys to hop on. Okay. So let's get right into the United opportunity that. I have for you. This is the base maintenance material coordinator. It is 35% travel, but you will be stationary at home for all your home duties. You will have to travel here and there. Now, the phenomenal part about being with an actual airline is you get to travel for free, okay? And a lot of times your spouse, your dependents, your family members, they also do get flight benefits, all right? United is really great with that. I do know people who have companion passes from somebody working within United. So they really do offer really, really great opportunities and benefits for you to travel. So if you are looking for something to get into an airline, so you do have that option of free travel, this would be a great opportunity for you. Now, here's the actual job ID for this specific role. And though it says it is out of San Francisco, it is fully remote no matter where you're sitting, you do have to travel 35% of the time though. So keep that in mind. So we're going to get down into more of the specifics of this actual role and some of the things you'll be doing within your day to day. You'll be identifying material requirements. You'll be sourcing, purchasing, monitoring, and tracking updates for purchase orders. You'll also be doing some resolution within orders, just resolving purchase orders, doing paperwork, looking at shipping discrepancies, things of that nature. You'll also be coordinating with the internal inventory departments to plan and schedule maintenance based on the demand. You'll be problem solving, doing some research to help meet the demand requirements. You'll be ensuring compliance with all the corporate and government supervised manuals. 
host and you'll also be attending all of the audits and other virtual meetings for aircraft that you support okay now what they are looking for is an associate's degree in aviation management supply chain procurement business or a related field or a comparable work experience so if you do have experience within business within supply chain if you do have experience working for a previous airline or dealing with aircrafts in any way this would be a great and phenomenal role for you if you're entry level i do have other roles that we will be going over and like i said before do not forget to check out cigna right now some of the other things that they're looking for is having minimum of two years experience in material management material coordination you do have to have that microsoft office proficiency be really great with your internal and external communication skills you'll also need to be able to work independently in a remote setting you will be working from home so they want to make sure that while you're home you can get your work done okay now they do have here for the travel requirement you must be able and willing to travel up to 35 percent domestically and internationally for your role because you'll be dealing with aircrafts and making sure that maintenance is up to date that you might have to go to different locations to make sure that things are running smoothly and people are doing what they need to do pretty much so keep that in mind when applying for this role you must also be able to work any shift within a 24 hour day and seven days a week operation so that doesn't mean you'll be working all of that time but that means that you have to be flexible with your time so for an example one week they might need you to work at eight to five another week they might need you to work three to seven so just having that flexibility within your schedule to work within the need of the operation that they have going on you must also be legally authorized to work in the united states for your employer without needing a sponsorship you must also be able to successfully complete the interview requirements and meet the job qualifications you must be reliable and punctual as well okay now some of the other things that will help you excel is if you do have prior aviation knowledge if you do also understand basic logistics coordination all right now united is really great they do offer really great benefits as well like the medical the dental the vision they don't have the actual salary available on this specific job posting but i was able to locate the actual job here okay and this is glass door just looking at the range of the job the base pay they do have here of 43,000 to 69 with a total range and a total higher salary up to about $81,000 annually okay so just giving you that insight of the ballpark that you would be in when applying for that specific role you guys okay now getting over into the very next opportunity that I do have for you this is what the company called remote okay remote is a platform and software where they promote and assist businesses to support their employees that work remotely globally so they assist with handling payroll compliance regulations worldwide for your employees and their main philosophy is assisting businesses small and large businesses with being able to maintain and support remote workers okay really great phenomenal company if you are looking for something remote where they really do care about your work-life balance this is the company for you so you need to get over and definitely check out their specific roles that they have available and we'll get more into why i said that okay so moving on to the very first role that i do have with them this role is hiring in the uk and it is also hiring in the us it is fully remote all of their positions are remote positions and they do hire internationally worldwide now this specific role is the general manager partnership business role getting down into the details of this specific role within this role you'll be setting up business units to assist with scaling okay you'll also be developing owning and strategizing on how to execute new business and keep current business you'll also be managing a lot of the business units to assist with achieving business objectives and that does include revenue and cost performance you'll be developing some reporting dashboards and metrics managing those things and reviewing them and improving them for financial performance okay this role is really great if you do have prior experience with business to business sales business to business management business to business softwares those kinds of things what they are looking for is five to ten years of experience in 
product or operations as a business to business SaaS company in a global setting. You will need previous experience owning a P&L in a hyper growth tech company. You'll also need knowledge in commercial and product oriented and very savvy on financial and SaaS fintech products and being able to translate legal and commercial agreements into execution on the product and business side, okay? You'll report to the CEO, you'll be a part of the project team. And for this position, they welcome everyone to apply no matter where you're sitting, but they will definitely prioritize people who do apply within the United States, New York City area, and then London, UK area. Now, the start date as soon as possible, they want to be able to get you started quickly. And then the salary range for this specific role is $226,000 up to $283,000. Plus, you'll also be eligible for equity within the company. So this is a really great job. If you are within this industry and you've been at a company for a long time and you're looking to pivot, this would be a phenomenal job because you do get a stake within the company, you guys. This is a really great job with really great benefits, okay? You'll also be eligible for their good old company benefits like the 401k, the 4% employer match, your unlimited paid time off, paid sick leave, paid parental leave, flexible spending account, healthcare savings account, the health, the dental, and vision, and much more. They also, what I love here is give you insight on their application and interview process. So you'll interview with the recruiter, your interview with the financial officer, the chief financial officer. You'll also interview with the VP of teams, okay, which is within the finance and product teams. You'll also interview with the CEO and then they'll do a prior employment verification check and the job is yours. Now, if you want to know more about their benefits, here is some information here, more detailed. I do also like that they do give you some stock purchasing options. You know, I love when jobs give you the option to get a piece of the pie with their stock option plans, okay? Now, how do you apply? All of the information is here. They lay it out for you really well. And then here you can also apply, okay? Now, getting back up into the actual title, this role is the general manager partnership business role with remote. If you're interested and you do have the background, definitely get over and apply. If you don't have the background, stay tuned. We will be going over other roles. Now, the very next role that I do have is the Senior Manager People Ops Programs role. This one, getting down into more of kind of what you'll be doing and your key responsibilities within this role, you'll be leading, developing, and motivating a team that consists of people operations, people program, and learning development. You'll be doing some administrative tasks for the HR information systems, like overseeing data, overseeing the integrity of the system and making sure the system is functioning appropriately. You'll also be providing guidance on human resource policies and procedures. You'll be optimizing the processes and policies within the company as well, okay? Some of the requirements that they have here is seven years of experience within HR or people operations. You're also going to need at least four of those years having experience with managing an actual team. They are looking for you to also have really great in-depth understanding of people operations, human resource policies, learning and development strategies, and talent management. You're going to need to be familiar with human resource information systems and be really proficient within human resource data analysts. If you have really great, excellent leadership skills, that is great. You're going to definitely need a problem solver. That is literally what human resources is, right? You're also going to need to be able to have a proven track record of having really great organization skills and being able to organize processes and policies really good. You're going to also need to write and speak fluent English. Now, one of the things that they don't care about is having experience working remotely. But if you do have that experience, that of course is a plus. You are going to report to the director of people enablement. You'll be a part of the people department 
and they are hiring for this specific role as soon as possible. Now, with this role, here is the interview process. You're going to submit your profile with your resume. You'll then speak with the director of people enablement. You'll speak with the team members and then the chief people officer. They'll do their employee verification check and then you'll be offered the actual role. They do get down into more of the benefits here. You will get that working from anywhere, unlimited paid time off with a minimum of four weeks, okay? So you get unlimited paid time and the minimum that you have to take a year is four weeks. This is a phenomenal working environment, okay? Also, quarterly company-wide days off for self-care. You'll have flexible hours. One thing I love about them is they care most about your work-life balance and they want your schedule, your work schedule to work around your life. It is literally right here, you guys. So as I get down, we work a sync at remote, which means you can plan your schedule around your life and not around your meetings. They care most about you having a work-life balance and you planning your work life around your own life. That's something that I love about this company. So you'll also get that 16 weeks of paid parental leave, mental health, stock options, learning budget. You'll also get a home office budget and IT equipment when you first start. They do give you a stipend to be able to buy everything you need for your home office. You'll also get a stipend every single month if you want to work in co-working spaces okay like we work in different places that you can go out and you can work in co-working spaces they give you a monthly stipend of $150 to do that I love this company and the benefits that they provide to their employees so if you are interested in this role and you do have that prior human resource or people management experience definitely get over and apply for this role this is the senior manager of people ops and programs role now getting into to the very next role that I do have. This is the payroll specialist role with remote, okay? You can be in Central America or South America. Getting down into more of what you'll be doing within this role, you'll be basically doing a lot of payroll, entering payroll, validating payroll, reviewing payroll. You'll also be managing relationships with the accounting and benefit service providers that they do have. So some of the things that they are looking for is five years of experience of in-house payroll processing for Mexico, okay? So keep that in mind. If you don't have that experience, don't worry. I have other roles I am going to go over that are entry level and don't require this type of experience. But I did want to bring this to anyone that does have prior payroll experience and you have international payroll experience or you have dealt with payroll for Mexico. Now, in addition to that, make sure that you are looking at prior videos that I have posted to check out jobs that are previously posted so you can look at those companies and look at their current remote positions okay in addition to that make sure you are subscribed to the channel by clicking that notification bell and clicking all so you can be notified each and every time I drop new videos with brand new roles so you don't miss out on anything we don't want you guys to miss out on great opportunities that really fit and align with what you need currently to pivot okay we are trying to always level up those coins and get paid our worth so definitely make sure you are locked in with the family here on youtube in addition to that if you are entry level i have something super special for you that you can find down in the description box in addition to that it is going to be linked in the pinned comments it is my free job title list that allows you to hone in on specific job titles that are geared towards entry level workers definitely make sure you get your free copy down in the description box or the pinned comments. Now getting down into more of what they are requiring for this role, you do need a knowledge of payroll. You will need to be proficient with software tools like SAP, Excel, Google Sheets. Also have a very analytical mindset and be a great problem solver. Really great attention to detail because you're dealing with numbers and so much data on a daily basis, spreadsheets. You're going to need to be acclimated with how all of that goes, okay? You're going to definitely need to be detailed oriented. Now you will report to the regional manager. You will be a part of the payroll operations team and they are looking to fill this role as soon as possible. Now the interview and application process for this role will ultimately take about six weeks. You will interview with your future manager. So they're trying to hire a 
manager for this specific role and department. You'll also interview with team members and then they'll do their prior employment verification check. Now, of course, with this role, you can work from anywhere, have the unlimited PTO time. You'll have quarterly company-wide days off for self-care, the flexible working hours, your 16 weeks of paid time off, the mental health, support services, stock purchasing option, learning budgets. You'll also get those stipends for your home office, IT equipment, and you'll also get a stipend if you want to work out of a co-working space. So once again, if you're interested in this payroll position, this is the payroll specialist with remote. So getting into the very next role that I do have for you guys, this role is with a company called Sedgwick. They are a premier insurance carrier that really does provide a lot of different insurance products, anywhere between workers' compensation insurance to general liability to a slew of different insurance products, okay? Getting into the role that I do have with Sedgwick, this role is a hotel support admin role. It does say part-time, but it is not part-time, all right? So it is a full-time position. It is fully remote no matter where you are, okay? Here is the actual job ID. Getting down into the specifics about this role, as you see, it is a full-time remote position, you guys. The schedule that you will be working is Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then some of the comprehensive job functions are, you know, calling clients to confirm hotel checkouts. You'll be assisting with booking reservations, calling and retrieving needed documentation. You'll be assisting with hotel extensions and just taking inbound phone calls. Really good, really a great, phenomenal entry-level position. Now, the minimum requirements for this role is a high school diploma or GED. If you do have a bachelor's degree, that's a plus, but it is not a requirement. Strong math and research skills, really great communication, grammar, and phone skills. Being able to work independently, show initiative and meet deadlines. Strong computer skills, which include Microsoft Office and Word. And having really great attention to detail. Now, the minimum that they do have here is one year of customer service experience is a preferred requirement, okay, that they do have. If you're interested in this role, definitely get over and apply. Once again, this is the hotel support admin role with Sedgwick. Now, the next role that I do have with them, this role is the workers' compensation claims representative trainee, okay? Now, they do have an industry advancement program that they are doing currently. This is a great opportunity if you do want to get in and become a claims adjuster. Now, from experience, I'm going to tell you it's really great to be able to have a premier company on your resume and Cedric is a premier company. Learning the insurance business can take you very, very, very far. You can branch out into other industries just from starting in insurance. So if you are entry level and you're looking for something that you can start in, but you can scale your career in, insurance is really great. I always say don't necessarily just look at some of the things about the job and say, oh, I don't want it because it's not paying enough. It doesn't have the benefits because it's all about getting in the door a lot of times, especially if you're entry level, getting that experience, understanding the processes, understanding what to look for, getting that training, and then you're able to take that and literally soar, okay, and move up the ranks very quickly. So here is the actual job ID for this role. It is a full-time position. Okay, getting down into more of the things you'll be doing in your day to day. You will be managing claims. You'll be managing complex claims. You'll be working with the legal team for claims that have to go in litigation. You'll be reviewing and investigating how accidents and incidents happen. Those are the kinds of things that you'll be doing within your day to day for this specific role. Now, getting down into more of the qualifications. Okay, they do have here, if you do have a bachelor's or an associate's degree from an accredited college or university, it's preferred, meaning it's a plus, but you do not need it. This is completely entry level, okay? You don't need it to get the job. It is a plus if you do have it, but you don't need it. Experience-wise, they are looking for you to just have some customer service experience, data entry. If you do have medical terminology and understand medical terminology, what that means, what CPT codes are, look 
looking at a medical record and kind of understanding what the doctor is saying, those kinds of things, that's the plus. If you do have prior computer bookkeeping skills and understanding bookkeeping programs, that's also a plus. If you have prior claims experience, that's also a plus. Now, additional helpful experience if you're state licensed for property and liability, disability, or any type of adjuster's license, that's phenomenal. That would get you up the ranks as well. Now, some of the things that they do offer is flexible work schedules. They also offer a referral incentive program, opportunity to work in the agro environment, career development, and really giving you those comprehensive benefits like the medical dental vision 401k and a slew of other things. Now, remember when I said it was entry level? Here we are here, right? Work environment requirements for entry level opportunities include computer, keyboards, hearing, vision, and talking, and mentally just being clear, being able to think really well, have excellent judgment and discretion, and being able to meet deadlines. This role is paying $25 up to $35 an hour, which is really, really a great, great rate of pay for it being so entry level, you guys, okay? So if you're interested in this specific role, definitely get over very quickly and apply, okay? Do not wait. Do not be a stand buyer and just look at the video and like, oh, I'll come back to it later. Definitely take action, take action and apply, okay? Now, if none of these roles align with you and what you're looking for currently, definitely hit me up in the comments and let me know what industry you're looking for your next remote job to be in so I can definitely help you guys on your career journey. In addition to that, if there's any resources that you think would help you along your pivoting journey, let me know in the comments. As always, check out previous videos from this week to see if any of those jobs better align with you and where you want to go in your career. Make sure you are locked in with the family by subscribing and clicking that bell notification on. And if you are entry level, make sure you do not miss out and you get that free resource that I do have for you guys down in the description, which is my remote pathways job title list that really helps you hone in on the job titles to look for as you're looking for remote jobs that are specifically designated for entry level workers. We want to get you guys in the remote field and get you that lucrative pay that you're looking for. So make sure you definitely get that free resource to help you along the way. Until next time, I want you guys to continue to reach for your career goals, continue to negotiate your rate and your worth, and continue to always thrive. I will see you guys in the very next one. Talk soon. Bye.